Hello. We are constantly interested in predicting one thing based on another. We want to predict the weather to plan our weekend. We want to predict how long a patient may remain ill. We want to predict how well a student will do in practice. Countless predictions are necessary for us to move through life. A brilliant statistical invention is regression, which permits us to make predictions from some known evidence about some unknown future events. In this video we will talk about the simple linear regression. Simple linear regression is used to estimate the nature of the linear relationship between two continuous variables. Where one is regarded as the outcome and uh, the other predicts the outcome. It gives the equation of the straight line through the observed data uh, where y is outcome, uh, a is intercept, b is uh, slope of the line and the x is the predictor variable. For example, in this question, can a screening test predict success in a statistical class? This question was answered by examining data from 10 graduate students. Each student took the screening test before starting the statistics class. They each completed the class. Their final grades are shown in this table. How to create regression curve? The first we select all data, insert, scatter plot, uh, after we choose the uh, chart tools next layout trend line more trend line options and you can see the format trend line window and after we have to select the boxes next to display equation on the chart and the display R squared value on chart. So uh, we have 38 percent of R squared value. R squared is a statistical measure of now close the data R to the fitted regression line. It is also known as the coefficient of determination. R squared is always between 0 and 100 percent. 0 percent indicates that the model explains none of the variability of the response data around its mean. 100 percent indicates that the model explains all the variability of the response data around its mean. And uh, our R squared it says why why students success in a statistics class is 38 percent dependent on X 38 percent dependent on pretest score next to find coefficient coefficients a and the b you can use the functions such as slope and the intercept we have uh, other example we will find the relationship between 
as the unemployment and the suicide rate. The first step we use the function slope. In Russian, uh, it's Naklon. We select data. The first is Y. The second is X. Next, coefficient A intercept. is equal B is 45.16815 A is minus 51.32003 in next step we we can write regression equation y equal You can write minus fifteen one point three two zero zero three plus X its regression equation after we can predict possible y depending on the target x easily uh, how we predict the suicide rate for example x equal 5 we compute the suicide rate and we have to use this formula regression equation if unemployment equal 5 suicide rate uh, will be 170 in the next step uh, we have to find the correlation we know about correlation we use the function correl this correlation coefficient equal 0 0.7 we have positive and a high degree after we compute the r square R square is 0 0.5. We will check our computation.
it's correct and the <coughs> r square is uh, 0 0.5 it says suicide rate is 52 percent dependent on unemployment that's all thank you for your attention